So I've been trying to highly for Aquarius. This is Brandy. Uh, this is a general for air signs. All right. I'm going to leave my um, website down below. You can book the $18 general read if this resonates. Uh, I'm on Purple Ocean stuff. I'd rather you do my site. It gives me a lot more time to focus. So that being said, we have Mosaic for the overall energy. Let's see what that is about. Let, let chance play its creative role in your life. So there's something you're definitely needing to like, oh, wow. I opened the book because I haven't used these in a while because they fall apart like the, but I feel it's much needed for Mabon. So you see this? It's a beautiful card though. Trust everything is as it should be. When Mosaic presents its Self, it means you have been trying to micromanage your life and your fixed view is limiting all the gifts and potential the universe is waiting to make available to you. It's time to say I don't know and to break free of the rules and conditions you have placed on yourself and on other people, places, things. Trust that there is no specific right way. Things must be or progression of events. I have to be very careful with pages, hold on. That must occur. Know that you do not know and that, that this is good in this moment and essential for the next chapter of your life to commence. Chance and surprise are essential creative elements in the unique mosaic of life. Break free of rigid stereotypes or ideas about what your life should look like or even feel like and what other people, places, and things should or shouldn't do and be. Consider the girl of Mosaic. Her mask has broken free and is shattering as she allows old patterns and old fears to break away. Hues of purple indicate pure wisdom and peace flowing through every fiber of her being. She loosens her micromanaging grip and weaves her hands through ribbons of energy that begin to wrap around her. The pieces of her mask cling to the fabric and form a new beautiful mosaic pattern. This new fabric of pure potential wraps around her naked form and her life is reborn. Like her, you are free to let go of self-limiting fear. Let your life surprise and amaze you and appreciate the beautiful potential of a sequence of events you could never have determined or orchestrated yourself. Keep in mind, again, it's a general. I know most of you come here for love, so, you know... People don't like to hear it when I tell them in a personal reading, but you have to sometimes step away from that energy of trying to make something happen so it can. And you can never force someone to love you, all right? I know that's horrible to say, but I have people messaging me for reading. This is a blocked out time. All right, let's see what this is about. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, should you collaborate with someone? Hmm? It's like you've been um, definitely staring at this. We have a lot of earth here. At this collaboration, at this job, at this person. Why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? And it's really about you needing to self-reflect why you feel they should do it this way. Right? Not everything is so laid out in stone. You know, sometimes things take a detour and you're supposed to let them. Three of Swords. Judgment. And the Five of Cups stood out here. A lot of disappointments. A lot of disappointments because you have been gripping on, I think, to the past, how things should work out. A lot of sorrow, like pain you can't let go of, and it's like you need to throw the cards in the air and let them fall where they may. All right, you're supposed to learn from this. You're supposed to learn from those lessons that broke apart from those disappointments, from those failed jobs, from those failed relationships. It's like you really need to make peace with the past 
and learn a different approach. Okay, again, this is a general, so you got to reflect that in your own life. But if it resonates, you know, my site takes every payment, man. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. You know, very anxious about what way I should go. And that's why they're saying, hey, just take a step. It doesn't have to be so calculated. Just take a step. You know, don't, uh, this is more like, don't be such an air sign. <laughs> I know. I have a lot of air in my chair, chart. I'm a Libra rising, Aquarius moon, Taurus, uh, Sun, Aries, Venus, okay? But this is like, you need to just, okay, Here, here's what we're going to do today, you know what I mean? And that leads to like a stronger you, a stronger foundation, um, a real commitment, okay? It's like doing things on a whim, you know, not having to have this certain outcome of it actually brings you more happiness and more stability into your life. It like helps you release that baggage of what you've been clinging to so things can just fall into place like they're supposed to. Right. Because you've been a little too stressed about what you don't have, you know, or what's not worked out. It's like you're, all your attention has been there, which has been stopping a lot of things from orchestrating in your life like it says you've been to you see her gaze that's you queen of swords right here a little too cold a little too focused on this money or the bills you know i get that that's life man that's life or this this person that stopped talking to you or hasn't been talking to you why 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 have you tried you know have you put yourself out there on that limb have you just seen where it goes? Hmm. This is a separate message here. Someone who is ill around you that you're worried about, they will recover. Okay successful in big things if you undertake them and you owe someone a message write it at once so i kept saying have you taken the initiative have you put yourself out there have you tried to communicate have you put yourself over here to the the wayside all worried and scared you know <sighs> What's advice? In order for you to be successful, you have to lead with emotions a little more. You gotta lead with creativity and daydreams, not so much logic. You gotta really put your heart out there, right? And let the world take over. You can't be scared of putting your heart out there. Okay, we get hurt, we dust ourselves off, we get back up. Disappointments happen. It's part of life. You know, it's why I don't really agree with giving these trophies to people because it puts these false things on. We've become less patient. We've become less caring. The world really needs people to put their hearts on the sleeves and just give people a chance. Don't be naive, you know what I mean? But, like, really just live and stop being scared of getting hurt. 